Tonight allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Thank you. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. Come back. Go to your things, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legalized crime the purge. Do not purge! Do not purge! You and Isaiah, just stay with me doing the purge. Oh, we're gonna be fine on our own. We are here with Dr. May Updale. She came up with this experiment. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. Tonight, we'll see the good and evil in everyone. This and the degree does she have? broadcast system announcing the commencement of the first purge. Our neighborhood is under siege from a government who doesn't give a shit about any of us. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of good people out there who we're going to have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We got to be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation. Parties, you predicted a much higher level of participation. Human nature does not obey the laws of politics. What the hell is going on? ex-military. Something funky going down, D. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. No one's coming to help us. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. They forgot about one thing. They forgot about us. What have I done? Stay strong, huh? I'm coming. Just remember all the good the purge does. So it looks like a pretty cool trailer, delving into the origins of the purge. It's interesting seeing Marissa Tomei as the psychologist who came up with it, and then she starts having regrets. You can't really put all the blame on her. Uh, she's not the one who actually enacted it to happen. <laughs> I think anybody could have came up with that scenario, especially after playing like Fortnite or any other battle royal type video game. So it seems like the government is sending military troops in to kind of provoke and get the violence, because like, apparently everyone's just partying it up, because that's what happens when there's no rules. <laughs> it makes me wonder with uh, how much they're gonna explore how this first purge actually works. Like how people decide that, oh, I'm gonna prepare for this first purge. The Halloween store is gonna start having all these markdown sales with all these cool new masks. There are gonna be all these YouTube makeup tutorials on how to look crazier before the purge. Um, where you get all the decorations, things like that. It's also funny with the premise is that I remember reading that there were rules from the first one where it was like no explosions, no chemical attacks, things like that. And so how do you enforce that considering there's no emergency services and no police department. Even building on that, what happens with the purge on a military base or a hospital? I imagine it'd be a free for all and there'd be no way to recover from it. So I'd hate to be the person that cleans up all that shit and all those dismembered bodies after the purge. That's gotta take months. So I guess we'll just have to find out and see. So thanks again for joining me for another trailer reaction, this time to the first purge. If you like what you saw, be sure to click subscribe and check out some of my other reaction videos and movie reviews. Once again, I'm Jack Van Slam. See you next time.